Do I really believe that God is in control? And I must not fear any disturbance or trouble that happen in this world? Hello friends! You want to be a saint someday? Well, it isn't impossible. We will discover that saints were also imperfect like us. But they have superpowers which we also possess. Welcome to At Home with the Saints. Here, we will explore the saint superpowers, better known as virtues, through brief stories of their lives that highlight and define these special characteristics. Each episode will also consist of reflection questions and prayer to help each of us grow in virtue. In this program, we are bringing you the life of St. Teresa of Avila, who lived the virtues of humility, charity, and detachment. Perhaps you know very well St. Therese of the Child Jesus, but very little about St. Teresa of Avila. According to her, humility cannot exist without love, and love cannot exist without humility. But this too can exist only if there is detachment from all created things. Saint Teresa of Avila was a Spanish Carmelite nun who made great reforms in the life of both men and women Carmelites. She was a mystic, a writer, theologian, and a doctor of the church. Her reforms led to the establishment of the discussed Carmelites, which is an improvement of the old. Teresa was born in Avila, Spain on March 28, 1515. She was among nine children born of devout Catholic parents. Reading about the martyrs, she and her older brother planned to go to Africa to become martyrs themselves. They left home without the knowledge of their parents. But when they reached the gates of the city, their uncle met them and brought them back home. Disappointed, they decided that they could live as hermits in their home garden. What lofty but holy childhood dreams! When Teresa was 15, her mother died, so trials after trials visited her life. Left alone to manage the children, her father became strict. He did not allow anyone to enter the convent. But Teresa and her brother escaped, he to join the Dominicans and she to become a Carmelite. Their father could do nothing but to concede. Teresa, however, got sick and returned to their home. She was paralyzed for almost three years and was miraculously cured by St. Joseph. She returned to the monastery but became lax in religious observance. She promised to live holy for God only when she saw a vision of hell in a dream. Thus began her personal reform and those of her co-sisters. Her work for reformation brought her many pains, controversies, and sacrifices, but God rewarded her with ecstasies and mystical visions. The fruits of her work were remarkable. She reformed 15 monasteries of Carmelite friars and 17 monasteries for nuns. She died on October 4, 1582. Her body remained incorrupt. St. Paul VI declared her Doctor of the Church in 1970. Her autobiography, The Interior Castle and the Way of Perfection, are among her famous writings. St. Teresa wrote a poem which became favorite prayer. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing away. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Whoever has God lacks nothing. God alone suffices. See you next week 
for another episode of At Home with the Saints. Have a happy and blessed day.